wholeness. Okay. We about to get started. Jump in something nice. Much love. Everybody who's tuning into this in resonance. If you connected to any of these groups right here on this picture, please stay tuned. If you're not, if you went to an HBCU, if you're part of fraternity, sorority, organization of um, Divine Nine, um, of uh, any type of fraternal order, we ain't gonna go too deep, but we're gonna open up some things that will um, allow us to get a little deeper on what's actually going on when expanding our awareness and how these things have pros, cons, but great intentions that has brought us, many of us, closer together than ever before and ever even given some of us an actual purpose at a stage where we needed it. You know, gave us brothers and sisters when we needed it. it gave us camaraderie when we needed it. Gave us confidence when we needed it. And we're going to dive into that space. So, my name is Curtis Haru. A reflection of you. This is my podcast name. And I am a part of one of these organizations on this picture here. And um, I, got a many, I got many a connections from it. And today, we're going to talk about just a, a short snippet on you know, what it is. So to all my Alpha, Beta, Gamma, Delta, Epsilon, Zeta, Eta, Theta, Iota, Kappa, Lambda, Mu, Nu, Xi, Omicron, Pi, Rho, Sigma, Tau, Vi, Gai, Psi, Omega, members, I welcome you to tune into the One Tribe Podcast with your brother Curtis Aru. It's myself. So let's dive into the space a little bit closer. Holdness and Balance Vibrations family, let me be the first to welcome you as a reflection of you. I'm your brother Curtis Aru and this is the One Tribe Podcast, home of the Daily Spectrum Resonance where we share solutions relating to physical, mental, and spiritual well-being with sovereignty as our goal. We discuss what works with the depth guests, tribe, no theory, just raw, unapologetic truth because truth is nature and we honor her gifts. So leave your esoteric shoes at the door and let's make soul connections with every step forward. Let's keep vibing in resonance at top speeds because the portal is now open. of these organizations has an origin point and these origins go back farther than we know the first of the divine nine being origin in uh, 1906 in Ithaca New York with Alpha Phi Alpha Fraternity Incorporated and these groups well, one thing, Supreme Bro, we live, bro. What's up, man? Oh uh, yeah. How <laughs> oh, you, bro? Cool, cool. Handyman, yo, you need a handyman. Supreme Master Electrician is here. Let me know if we, you know, talk that. All right. So, <laughs> with um, with these organizations, all of these organizations started with great intent, as in they had a purpose, purpose within the community. And one of those needs were during these times, 1906. Um, a number of things going on, especially the suppression of of, um, of uh, melanated people, as well as Aboriginals, as well as uh, poor and low economic uh, status people. So, in these spaces, you always find a level of camaraderie. Always find a level of you no. Know, let's get together to make our situation better. And this is one of the things they did within Cornell uh, with the the brothers, the founders. Um, Robert Harriet, or I don't have to go through the founders, but the founders of the organization started by getting together as a study group. Because in a space like it in New York, up north, where you weren't necessarily treated as fairly as you should be um, due to societal norms, where if you've seen somebody who looked like you, no matter who they are, where they are, they would embrace them and, hey, they join the study group. 
you know, we're, you know, this is what we're doing. And from that birth, long story short, very long story short, birth organizations. And then going to other campuses doing the same thing. So you'll find how, you know, Alpha Alpha helped uh, establish uh, Delta Sigma Theta, Alpha Kappa Alpha, uh, Omega Psi Phi. And members were just passed the love on. This is what we want to do. This is what we're passing. And each one of these has different characteristics and different origin points. And when you start to ask questions about these origins, you start to, start to find a lot of information. So, Alpha Phi Alpha, one of the signifying um, zoom notifications, we have a gorilla uh, in symbolic. Uh, Omegas, you have the dog. Elephant for the deltas, uh, aka is the I think it's the frog and the the ivory. Um, Kappa's is the bunny. Um, in well, we kind of start to get a little. Uh, we we'll start with the origins. So the origins as the the pharaohs, uh, Egypt. You see a lot of those things enshrouded within the Alpha Phi Alpha mystery. My story, our story. Because when we talk about humankind, we t we're talking about uh, we're talking about some of the cradles of civilization. We're talking about the continent of Africa, and on the continent we have you know, a lot of amazing things. And one of those things that we have is uh, hold up, make sure the sound is cool. Uh, right. So we're getting into that. Thank you for that, sister. Uh, so. Within the Greek mythology, it's a, it's a, a great book. Um, I forgot the name of the book actually. Um, stolen, stolen legacy. Stolen legacy. So with our ancestors, and I say it speaks specifically for um, to my recent ancestors. They did best by what they have. We'll say, um, and they tried to leave breadcrumbs of truth. You know, truth is resonant. Truth is the frequency in what they had to do. What they did. As we know, they said somebody um, African culture conforming. This was like, for example, why conform to Christianity? Because at a certain point, that was all you could conform to. Like, we, in, in I'm from a place called the Bible Belt, so you either became a Christian or you you were ostracized or killed. You know, you couldn't make it in 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 this space without that. And so, coming out of those mentalities or those ideologies or those dogmas, um, egregors. Um, things that take your energy outside of self, you learn that our ancestors did what they had get, did what they had to do with what they had. For example, my grandmother just wanted to share uh, a level of connection to the spirit that something is more than you, baby. This, this thing is way bigger, way bigger. And to want you to have some type of spiritual connection because I know that this is, is more to life than this, this they would share this level of spirituality, which was all they had. So when we talk about uh, Greek letter organizations, we know these some of these things were taken and distorted, much of it. But again, it's your story, it's a my story, it's a myth story. You learning your story allows you to get confidence into what really is. Uh, so neophytes kind of are pulled to things like I don't want to say neophytes. Those who have a calling to just join other people in some type of camaraderie with some type of group who has a, a noble initiative or a mission. There's nothing wrong with that. No judgment there. None at all. Because you, you, you trust yourself to find yourself as you go through these spaces. And so for myself, I think... Um, <laughs> um, I, I forgot. The, the book was called Stolen Legacy. And... Um, and it basically talked about the the, the 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 bastardization of African African knowledge systems, and this goes deep because we know how. Go back to uh, let's say Kemet or Egypt, where the Nile, the Nile is, and in, in, in so specifically for Alpha Alpha, we talk about one of the things. And also dispel another myth too. People live in these organizations. Like this is all that they are. Like you see, you know, we used to talk about no double nail, you triple nail. You wear no all. You got letters everywhere. You got the socks, the tie, the shoes, the 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 dress. You got the hat. You got the bonnet. You got the scarf. You got the earrings. You, you got all of that. 
And so this has become so many as this identity has been adopted. And this is just, you know, a filter between you and who you truly are. But as you begin to ask questions, you begin to dive into things that you go, what is really calling you is really the truth of the Ennead. And as we go into the Ennead, we have to talk about the now. How do you enter into someone's home or into somebody's country, into someone's house, into someone's heart? You enter through the womb. What is this, you may ask? What is this? This right here is part of the now. They call it the delta. The delta is the mouth of the now river. And as we know, the now is the massive river that runs through Africa. It's the broad of Africa. Um, that runs through Africa. It's massive. It's fed, they call it, and one, and one, I remember doing with the pleasant process or the product going online, going under whatever you want to call it. This, one of the things that we would do, everybody had a position as you went through, um, through this thing. Everybody had a position where my position specifically was um, timekeeper, for example. So, you know, we got Ace, we got the Rocket Align, you got the Teller Align, and you have the Jewel specifically in, in Africa, I mean, in Alpha Alpha, you have a number of things that you're responsible for. So, this is about you. This is about you. This is about you. And you finding your space through all these things that, that has called you. You throw away no part of self. You know what I mean? You throw away none of your experience. You regret nothing. Because you're supposed to learn something from every single event um, happening which you've experienced. If you don't learn from them, then you fail. You know, these things don't happen by chance. So, don't feel bad if you're in a fraternity and you found something that then wasn't resonant with you in a fraternity. You joined for a specific reason that wasn't distorted. You joined for something... You know, that called you a little deeper. So we're diving into some of that calling because this is ancient resonance that, that's, that these things are representative of. So the Delta. delta. And as we, some of my best friends came from this sorority, because uh, they had every one of these things, these organizations has a different characteristic that or personality that typically uh, is shown within its their, their members. And remember, we are... Remembering when you just all you know, remember the words, the words are um, important. You're able to use these words. Remember, I'm becoming a member, but you are remembering of ancient practices done previously throughout your DNA. Your DNA, water, is is always memory. Then you tapping into these memories, unraveling the DNA, you know, connecting these telomeres throughout the body that allow you to mm, click on. And again, this is about you. So the more you learn about self. The more you you know how to you know move with the current, and as we talk about currents, we're going back into the now. So the now, you enter into the minds and hearts of the people you want to connect with by distorting the waters. We're talking about uh, what it is, uh, vampires, and the only way to get through the doors, you got to be invited in. <laughs> with with the story say, where. Let's say the waters here. This is the mouth of the Nile. Let me see if I can get a better picture for you as well. Um, the mouth of the Nile. So the Nile, I, I don't have to go in there right now. The Nile Valley. If you talk about, we talk about, let's say, speaking specifically with the Alpha uh, and that mystery. And also, let me bring the picture back. Know that this is all your history. This is all you. When you tap into these fraternities and sororities, if you're not in these fraternities and sororities, you still have access to these books. They are in the libraries. Um, you, they, you know, people think that oh, this is mine. You can't read this book, but that it's only an alpha book. This is a delta book. This is a the, all these books are in the library. Check them out if you will. You want to learn some more information about some of these, uh, some of the mysteries and more your story if you're connected into them, or you can find it online. Um, Again, this is no no secret. Secret, all the secrets are, are coming out. <laughs> all right, so the now valley <laughs> civilization, whatever. That's my baby boy. He said he looked just like you. Oh yeah. That's what I heard. Uh huh. 
Uh, let me see if I can give you a better picture, family. Uh, that's it. Give me one second. So again, as you know, the now is. There you go. Okay. Uh, the now, 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 now. Yeah, right, it's a better picture right here, family. Boom. So the now. This is the now. But as you know, the now is. Um, Throughout the continent, let's let's see if we can get a better picture of it. So actually, it goes into the Mediterranean Sea, and so to travel, our ancestors which would be a big part of life, a big huge part of life. This is for the origins of life, where you have the water coming from the delta, and we know what else is going to delta. We know the pyramids on the delta. So again, we tap into the symbology of let's say delta by delta and the alpha connection. And we'll see how the alpha is necessarily help started the Delta uh, sorority and as well as uh, AKA and things like that. But all that becomes null and void as we start learning the theory, mystery. Because these are things that came way later. The key is to learn what these things are. And learn how this information is then taken and distorted and then given back to you in, in a way that you didn't even know was there. So, so let's say how people come into your house. How people come into into the home is, you know, you come with a smile, a warm face. You might even bring a dish, you know, and you might even sing a song, carolers, and to get into your into your home. And how this world, society, does mean that we know power is 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 from these people. Uh, we know we can get we can these people have a lot of power. How do I take their power? You have to take the water. You have to poison the water. You gotta throw some dams on it. You gotta stop the flow of the current. The current being knowledge, water being knowledge. So we're going deep into this. This is definitely not just a divine nine talk. It's just you no know, clickbait to dive into what's real. And what's real is these waters here. And knowing where this stuff comes from. And knowing your story. Because once you know your story, then no one can lie to you about who you truly are. So again, this is oh, no. now here. This is my baby boy back there, so much love, family. Oh, no. Alright, so, um, still coming through. Oh, Where no. else have you seen oh, this no. Oh, no. picture? I'm gonna let this, uh, rain true. Bro, you got it on that quick? Got to. Right. Alright, so some of y'all may have got that. Some of y'all may have seen it, some of you may have not. So I'm going to play it one more time. And shout out to my brother Sean Go. Show look. Show look right here. Uh, holding down. That's right. Live video. Let me stop it for you. You might, you might have missed it again. So this is Disney's intro. This is Disney's intro. We talk about... So this came a couple weeks ago. And I was looking into it. And I was looking at the river. After doing some studies. And it just happened to you know, look at the, the content of the river. And I stopped it. I was like, yo, that's the Nile. That's, that's the Delta. Right there. And I was like, yo, that's... Why would they have the Delta in... No, we see the Delta here. Why would you have the Delta, the same river, on Disney? So that they oh, talking about how to get into the people's hearts. It's like, you, it's like somebody knock on your door and bring you, Hey, girl, stop cookies! Just to let you in. So this is like, you know, we know our, our memories are definitely connected pictures and water. And so to get into the show... And the power and hijack the hijack the consciousness. This is one of the ways they do it through visual contact. And they tell you that a lot of time when you look in, and look at the history, they tell you where they got it from. But if you don't know your history, you'll never know that it look like the now. And so, check it out. So, when we're talking about now Valley civilization, we know so many amazing civilization has come out of 
the Nile. And not, not the only one. No, of course, that's not the only We have so many. But this ties into the Ennead. The Ennead. What, what is the Ennead, if, if you may say? What is the Ennead? Ennead is also the nine. The study of the nine. The divine nine. All right, baby. The Ennead. All right, family. Appreciate you, bro. Ennead, it goes back farther than get the damn anybody's organization. Uh, <laughs> this is like 6,000 years ago. What the Ennead is. The Ennead is basically the, the movement and the progression of the stars that we later found within the zodiac context. Uh, where it talks about the gods or the planets and how this is broken down into nine gods. And we won't go into all, all nine guys, but I'll read some of them out for you. And when we get the people talking about the divine nine, the, and these are black organizations, we'll say uh, African American organizations, only to shroud on what the truth actually is. Because when you look into it, you know this is all talking about you again. Remind me later. Come on. I hope you can see that, family. Might have to zoom in for you. Let me see. Let me actually, I think that that'd be good enough. We need to zoom in. Uh, just just type it into Google or um, DuckDuckGo or Brave Browser. Um, so the Ennead here, we have Atum Atum Ra, uh, Shu, um, uh, Gimp, Newt, uh, Osir Osiris, Set, Isis, um, Nemothet. Uh, I'm sorry if I'm butchering some of the names, uh, but these are all um, elements that's connected to the planets. The planets. We have the Sun, Mercury, Venus, Earth, uh, Jupiter, Neptune, uh, Uranus, uh, and then the Nine. There's something about the Nine. And what this Nine gives us is the characteristics, and we're talking about you know, characteristics of, of the... Of the family, I'm sorry, of uh, the 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 organizations, their core characteristics that gives us insight on who we are, based on what we're called to, what we're called to, and this is extremely important because this is all you. Knowing that you are the supreme being is one of the greatest head cracks and mysteries that that has been told to you. That you are not supreme. That you are not the one. You know, you're the one. And our ancestors knew that too. And they would say, okay, you're the one. Now let me tell you the different variations of the one that, that make, that aid you in the makeup of the God. Or the Supreme. Because God actually has a different context. So just remember that God, when I say God, I'm not necessarily, I'm saying like the Supreme, the Creator. Uh, not uh, a male deity in the sky with a beard. Uh, no, this supreme being. That's the, the the one. So, as we know, the one has many faces, and you'll see many guys with many faces. Uh, they might see them as polytheistic. They worship many gods. No, this is all reflections of who you are and different variations of your truth and your essence. And as you dive into that, you begin to pull out. Your, so, if if we were to patchwork this into today's divine nine it would look kind of weird like you're you would be wearing like all the nail yeah from all the sororities of the divine nine and that wouldn't stand just like you know someone you somebody when you say typically an average person doesn't know that they're god they're a supreme being they are the one they are creator and we co-create we have different we have the opportunity to experience this thing we call life in in a uh, in, in various um, various spaces to try to master self and have some sort of uniqueness. This is uh, you know another ploy by another ploy, another power of the divine divine nine. And nine actually goes back to waters. Waters is to the womb. Again, this is a womb here. The, this is a major womb. And if you can control the Nile, you can control all those people. Who has origins of the Nile, connections of the Nile? And we'll say that is every damn body because the 
I think the farthest you can get from anybody is like 60th, 60th cousins. I said, no, look it up. The farthest you can get from being related to anybody is like 60th cousins. And that's just facts, scientifically. And so, how do you talk to the people? You hijack the symbol, you hijack the waters, and you, you speak on that current. And you move forward. So let me uh, pull up another. Um, I'll pull it up. So what, what what we have today is just to try to get to to offer the solution for learning the many parts of self and who you are as a supreme being. We have something called the enneology, and you hear the any in that, and that's um, and this code specifically will allow you to tap into your uniqueness. The enneology is similar to what I said, the ennead. And the idiot is that divine nine. So we go into that too uh, briefly, and just to, to drive this home for you. Let's see who, who's still rocking with me. You still rocking with me? Cool. We got a few still holding. Appreciate the family. All right. So to continue to build. Enneology. Did I? Did I? Did I? Did I? Bam. Oh, so enneology. Did it move? I think I'm still there. Go. Okay. <laughs> so, ideology is uh, the link you will find right there within the. I'm sorry, within the link in the bio and description right here. Ideology is basically the study of the different archetypes that connects each and every person on the planet to their celestial makeup or their celestial reflections, based on when they're born and this is how we tap into our star connections of who we are for example many people think the sun and the moon are the only lights or planets that affect our planet we think no the sun comes up gives us light nourishment and the moon comes at night and gives us a little break from the sun um, age in the wolf floor, the water, the tide goes up and done, and that's the most, that's the crux of many people's awareness of what the planets do. But now we're coming into a grand awareness where many people are waking up to our connections and our, our soul journeys, our, our passions, our, our, our purpose. And with this, you open yourself up to. A whole new world that you know, our ancestors were tapped into. You know, these stars been here for quite some time. You know, <laughs> before there was, you know, a, a selection of, a, of time or some, just somebody to say, oh, this is time. Our ancestors uh, used them to chart movements to actually determine time from what we think we know it as and to determine when these patterns would come forward again. So just imagine how long it took to map out the stars. You know, something that may take uh, it was uh, 28 years for a rotation uh, of Saturn to come to determine like how these patterns, you know, Earthy is how these patterns run. You would pass you would pass these writings and scripts and manuscripts down to your your next generation or your village to determine. Uh, you no, know, no, forward my work. You know, this is what I found. Plato, Socrates, and all these stuff like that. And Imhotep, a lot of, I'm going to start naming many of them. So, ideology. Ideology gives you a snapshot on the planets within our solar system and their lights and their frequency and how they influence your characteristics based on your birthday. Um, let's say, for example, if you are born on uh, a one day, one day basically means um, anybody who's born on a first. Uh, the the tenth, the the nineteenth, the anything that adds to one. I said nineteenth. That's one and nine adds to ten. Ten and zero is one. Born on the first is one and zero. Born on um, uh, the if there was a fifty fifth, <laughs> you'd be born on a one day. Five and five is ten. Ten is, is one. So that would make you specifically. Uh, a primal and this is reflective of the sun the sun is someone uh, one day born is, is a trailblazer shining natural born leader we'll say um, 
uh, impulsive, uh, can be serious minded, straightforward, organizing, um, uh, good at with discernment, uh, dislike being criticized, uh, organ organized, kind, royal, it also connects to um, a lion, uh, lucky, um, inspirational, strong sense of morality, uh, strong conviction, open to new ideas. This is just one. This is, they have nine. And as we know, when we talk about numerology, numerology can be broken down into nine. The largest number, single digit, is a nine. And anything you add or take away from nine, yes, nine, nine, nine. Nine, nine, nine. 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 Okay, so, <laughs> so is that number, let's say, and those who, who are born on a nine, they have those same characteristics where if you add one to nine, you get 10. And then you put it on the inverse, you um, get 10. And then you subtract it back, 10 back to nine, you get a one. So anything you add, or uh, anything you add to nine, it goes back, reverse to its original number. So again, one and a nine makes 10. 10 and zero is the one. Nine and five makes uh, 14. One plus, five, one plus four gives you the five. Nine plus seven gives you 16. 16 is one and six. So in the six together, it makes seven. So nine people who are born in nine day are some always some of the best friends you can have because they don't take anything away from you. Um, and uh, when I say nines, again, each one, every birthday has a characteristic that um, that speaks to their their nature. Um, also have um, a frequency, a stone, a song, um, a number of things that help you find self. We all in the journey to find self and learn ourselves better. This is the product of Secret Energy, as I'm a ambassador, an ambassador of Secret Energy, and I've been with this company or with this team, with this tribe for six years or more. So I can't. I don't remember when it actually started. But where finding oneself outside of what we thought there to be, a lot of these things we learn and become a part of later on in life are just accoutrements into who we truly are. And we kind of put on another hat, another ID, you know, um, um, even with the, the skin tone and the colors, these things uh, we, we adapt um, over time based on societal society. Uh, no, I, I'm black. I am, I, am, I am Latino. I am, you know, I, I am... Um, I'm an alpha, you know, I'm a mason, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm all these things, I'm a, I'm a delta, I'm an aka, and all these things are things we cloak and put on ourselves, but we have to back up and come back to the origin, you know, who are you internally, what is your cosmic makeup, you know, what, what is your soul journey, why are you here, this is, we're only here for a limited time family, so the faster you can identify who you are, your purpose, what you're made of, where you actually came from. I'm talking about your spirit. Um, and what you came to do here to unlock those things within yourself, unravel you know, the DNA to allow more light to get into those codes so you can express more side of, part of yourself and become a full spectrum human will allow you to fly. And let me check the comments, make sure everything coming through. Any questions, please let me know if you're still rocking with me. Um, to tap into who you truly are, and again, so we're talking about we're talking about the divine nine, but the true or the real divine nine is the Ennead that we actually gives us ideology, along with numerology and astrology uh, make up. Yeah, <laughs> let me uh, make sure we get this thing back. Uh, yeah, so family, I uh, just want to come through, share some love on on that on these frequencies, and making sure we begin to see. Oh, I, I didn't even dive into the whole Disney thing. Um, so, who, so Disney is one of those things that distorts history, distorts the story, distorts your tale, and tell it to you all over again. I'm all out. And tell it to you in another another way, fancy, uh, with some si with some sound effects, musicals, 
and and on all these things that basically rewrite your history because now you introduce that to your children. So you're introducing a fancy lie that again distorts the DNA of who they see on what is to be. They tell your children everything. Everything. They talk about love to family to history to what's important and this is a hijack of your consciousness, your children's consciousness. Teach your children the mystery, the my story, the true story that allows them to unravel the DNA so they can express themselves in new ways that others didn't have the opportunity to <laughs> early as possible. So, family, you won't go, I'm not going to hold you long. I just wanted to come to share some things that were coming through the ether on my space. And remember, that again, this is not even written. I haven't even found this anyway. I've, I've, never, I've never seen any correlation with the Nile to Disney. But after I seen the image, and I think it was a story about, um, they said that the actual river is something by the, the Walt Disney used to live up or grow up on. I looked up that river that when I found it out, and I was like, yo, this, the image does, it doesn't match. It's not that. And as you see in that image that we showed earlier, it, and actually, I think I got one more I can show you. Um... <laughs> Right here, that this is this is the, the same Disney. This is Disney. Here. This is the, the the opening, and you can see right here. You see the mountain. You talking about a, 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 a what is it? Uh, I mean, this image is at a different angle here. So this is not at the same angle that this thing that this image is just drawn or taken from here. So it looks like kind of like a flower if you were to stand this up. You just start to go slow. And it started to get a little wonky. But, um. Maybe if anybody got some Photoshop skills out there, see if you can align this thing properly. And you can get that more. Yeah, as you can see, you might just see what I'm trying to do here. But I have to flatten this image. And change the angle. I have to figure out how to do that on a Photoshop object. Being told uh, things that you were called to, not neglecting any parts of self, but embracing all and finding the jewels that you need to learn more about who we truly are. If you need help and more assistance and more guidance, I am there for you as a soul coach. You can find that link down below. One-on-one uh, -on -one sessions with me, you can find it on the website. Also, I'm with uh, SecretEnergy.com. We also have... Um, an ambassador we also have ambassador training where i'm also available as a soul coach there we'll be launching it in december but we have more information to give you the raw unapologetic truth about who you actually are and how and, and so many so much proof if you ever need if you need more we got you and we got a whole tribe of others who are on the same frequency who who would love to connect with you I just finally made this correlation today with the Divine Nine just to get you that real. And um, any more questions, hit me up in the comments. Hit me in the DMs. Um, go to my page at um, onetribe.io. Contact us there. So coaching is prime. We can get about two hours in and really just breaking some things down. Or if you just want to have your ears open, ear gates, and allow me to share some things and give you some stuff that allow you to find. Well, actually, I want to hear you a lot of times because, get it. That, that aids me into understanding who you are, where you are, and how best to you know, give you a little push in the direction that you already are manifesting in. So, holla at your brother Curtis Aru, the reflection of you. Subscribe to our YouTube page at One Tribe HMU, and also find us at library.tv where there's no censorship. There's no censorship. So we can post things freely and talk about anything we need to, as well as crypto one-on-ones for those who want to get into cryptocurrency, learn about it, how to get involved, onboarding, how to how to use it, how to tap into this new current because this is current, you know, new new way of of transacting money, the greatest in the world, the largest transaction of wealth in the world is happening right now, and you want to get into it, learn how to use it.
how to benefit, how to set your sales, so you can just hop in the current, hop in the waters, and you can just flow. So, send love to you all. Holding some balanced vibrations. Look forward to the next build. Top speed.